So Logan Berry went over the fence, and I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But you can see Dabble found him and is very upset at the fact that he's in her space. He's being good about it. I want to say in advance, if I have to drop the phone and cut this stream off in a hurry, I apologize in advance. He's just, he just wants to be in his space and maybe even go outside for a little while. He's, he likes to sit over here by the cat run and think about going outside all morning, and then sometimes he does. Even when it's really cold, like it is today, sometimes he just goes out there and sits out there for an hour. I guess he's wearing a fur coat so he can do that. Anyway, I got the stream started the instant that that started, so you really didn't miss anything. The thumbnail was their initial meeting, and then the stream started, so... Although she did spend a minute uh, before that, she saw him and she was like trying to sneak up on him. And uh, she was being pretty ridiculous about it, trying to hide in the middle of just the open floor. All pressed down on the floor. It was really silly. So you can see that they are having their exploration time this morning. And that it's going pretty well. They've finally started to come out a little bit and to hang out in this room and to do some stuff out here. Although uh, they really seem like they still prefer their own room where all their toys are, which is okay, I guess. I would too, right? Uh, it's just strange because they're the first class that really has preferred their familiar space to new spaces, you know? What was that? Butter, what was that butter? Now, if you've been watching the regular Kitten Academy live stream this morning, you saw that I tried to move some of the cameras around, trying to catch us a better angle for the kittens, and uh, also to try to keep things a little interesting. I don't, I don't know, I kind of feel like the other camera angle works better, except that you can't then turn the camera out here and point it into the living room. So I may have to find a different solution for that in the long term. We'll see. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, today was, I think, day three of their treatment with the Panicure for Giardia, and today we got everybody to take it pretty well. Uh, Tinker still is, is, she freaks out, you know, she knows what's going on. Still, even so, I feel like we did better today than we did yesterday. And for the kittens, they were easy, um, so we uh, managed to get them all uh, without any scratches or anything. And yeah, Molly Harris, uh, you are right. Yeah, last night, uh, everybody was hanging out in my lap, taking a nap together, and it was so sweet. I think it's the first time that they've all just settled down and, and taken a nap with me, uh, although I've had all four of them in my lap before hanging out. And then uh, Tinker did come up in my lap for a minute or two last night, but not long enough to really hang out. She's still iffy about the whole proposition, but we're working on her. She does, you know, every time I sit down there, she does come up for a minute or two, but she never really settles down very much. Um, she'll sit down, but, but usually only for a few seconds or a minute. Uh, we had the best time two nights ago. She did sit down for, you know, a good, I don't know, she sat down for a few minutes while her kids nursed and stuff, and that was really special. But, um, yeah. Sorry, I moved, wow, Butter. I moved and Butter was like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Anyway, we're working on it. We had a little exploration time last night, too, where Monkey started climbing all up and down this big cat tree. He was almost, I think he made it all the way to the top, actually, at one point, or almost all the way to the top. So uh, they've been having fun with that stuff. That's Logan Berry, if you just heard that meow. Hi, I know you're talking to me, buddy. You're taking kind of a risk by being in here. I know you're a good kid, though, so... 
Oh, now he's going to go and he's going to run right into Tinker. All right, I'm, I'm taking a risk by doing this. Once again, if I got to drop the phone and break up a fight or something, that's my fault for letting him push his luck like this. I don't know if you can see Tinker and Trifle are in the tower over there. I know what he's looking for is the kitten food, which is ridiculous because it's the exact same food that he gets out in the kitchen. But for some reason, he and Smokey especially like to, to come and eat the kitten food instead. I don't know why. I don't know why they're that way. We also have Maggie waiting for her turn to come out here and do her morning routine. Surprise, Brooke's not right here, too. Probably around somewhere. So, uh, on that topic, um, this morning we started the Adequan that I was talking about for Smokey. I gave her her first dose, and I just wanted to mention that when I, I think when I talked about it, I said that she got it like twice a month, uh, but I was, it's twice a week until uh, we start to taper down after a month. I just wanted to clear that up in case Dr. Katz is listening, and she's like, oh no, he's going to vastly underdose her. Uh, I checked the notes. It's twice a week. So she gets one, uh, she got one at 8 o'clock this morning, and exactly half a week from then is 8 p.m. Sunday night. She'll get her second dose, and then again 8 a.m. next Thursday, and so on for a month. And I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how um, Smokey does with those treatments, because uh, as I said, my mom said that it's just the best stuff for her dogs, and uh, I hope it works out for Smokey. Uh, Rita L., I don't know if Dr. Katz, I, I'm sure she does not watch them live as they happen, but I do think so that sometimes she likes to watch them later because she's mentioned things that I've brought up in them uh, from time to time. So uh, I'm sure she's probably not a, a religious watcher of them. She's a very busy person, uh, but, uh, but it's cute that she watches when she can. I really appreciate that. She actually uh, had me, uh, she, she asked, you know, if there was a way that she could show our Kitten Academy live stream on the TV in her waiting room at her practice. And I happened to have a spare Chromecast that I wasn't using. Trifle, you're so cute. I could just film you all day, buddy. Um, even though you're not doing anything. I'm sorry if this is boring for anybody else, but I just love his little face. So cute. i got to boop your nose. Boop. Uh, so anyway, yeah, she asked if she could show the stream on and the TV in her waiting room. I said, of course you can. And I brought her the spare Chromecast that I had, uh, which I couldn't get working right. But her husband, I guess, is kind of a techie guy. So he set it up, or at least a gadget guy. And he got it all working. Um, but the fact remains that I haven't yet actually seen our stream there on her TV. Uh, I think that the receptionist enjoys watching daytime TV a little too much for that to happen. Uh, that's not a criticism either, by the way. I just I think it's just a cute personality thing, you know. So they've always got the daytime TV going, and whenever I'm in there, uh, I'm seeing the, all the daytime TV shows that I never see. And I find it entertaining, actually, quite a bit. I bet uh, DJ would, too, if she ever went. So that's the kind of thing she loves uh, to, you know, just catch once in a while and, and thinks it's pretty fun. So... Yeah, all right, Logan Bear, you definitely don't need to be getting in their litter boxes. You are pushing your luck, pal. Let's go. Let's go out. Keep going. Keep going, bud. Uh, at least uh, Dabble was like, all right, I guess he's okay if he's in my room. So, yeah, they all did okay with him just there. That was cool. Anyway, yeah, so that's enough about, uh, I don't know what I was even rambling about. Oh, yeah, I just, I wanted to, yeah. Um, so, um, I don't know, I completely lost my train of thought. But since all the kittens are in their room, somebody just pulled up outside to make some kind of delivery. Oh, almost all the kittens, now Putter's out. I was going to close it up so we could go upstairs and I wouldn't have to, I like to, I like to close the doors before I leave them to go upstairs because I can't keep an eye on what's going on. And I don't want um, anybody to get in trouble while we're upstairs looking at Belle and her kittens. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and we'll just grab Putter and put him in from the other side as we leave. Come on, Putty. Come on, little Putter. Oh, you can't get in that door now. I had to close it. And you're going to run away from me because I'm big and scary. But you know me. Come on. Come on, buddy. 
You know me. Come here. Come here, brother. Come on, bud. But I don't know. I think you're going to put me back in the room, and I was just out here having fun. Oh, come on. What, putter? What? Water. Water. Water putter. All right, now I got him. There you go, right in there. So I'll let him back out after I'm done doing the close-up uh, with you guys, but I need to put him away, like I said, so I can go upstairs with you and talk to Belle for a minute. Uh, and I don't want to leave them completely unsupervised with, uh, you know, the possibility of Logan starting something or who knows what. So here's Smokey, by the way. Hey, sweetie pie. I know. It could just be my... Um, you know, like observational bias or something. Uh, I don't know what you call this, uh, but she already seems like she's feeling a little bit better. Anyway, yep, so there's Logan, there's Smokey, there's uh, Maggie, and we are gonna head on upstairs somewhere. I started that poop chia pet that came in the mailbag, but I don't think it's sprouted yet, even though it's on its second day of water. Just thought I'd point that out real quick since we were walking by. I don't see anybody in the sunroom right now. They must all be upstairs somewhere. So. Uh, you guys look like I came right in the middle of a stare down. Look at that. Look at those eyes on Brooke and Custard's little tail. If you watch, oh, he was just wiggling in a way that shows that he's there. That right there means he's getting ready to jump on her. All right, Custard, break it up. Break it up, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Both of you, break it up. So that was like a serious cat stand down right there. Now she's like, nah, I'm too cool. But, uh, you could tell from her eyes and his tail that they were, they were just waiting to see which one was gonna jump first. All right, you guys, oh, and there's Ari looking on from back here. Hi, Ari. You watching that whole thing? Hey, bud. Saw my mom in the chat. Hi, mom. I saw she commented on how much the Adequan helped their dogs. So yeah, I'm excited to see how it works out for Smokey. Brookie, what are you trying to talk to me about now? You want me to come in your room and feed you? I know you do, but you already know how to eat down with the faculty. I saw you had first breakfast with the faculty already. So. We're still waiting on the results of the blood test um, from Brooke, but like I said, I'm, I'm very positive now that she does not have uh, diabetes. She's not diabetic. She just gets stressed on her vet trips. Uh, but we're waiting for the, just the final confirmation to do our due diligence, and uh, I'll let you guys all know when we hear back about that. Boop. Okay. Let's go see Belle and her kittens. I know that's what you guys are waiting for. Here's Jubal. A lion and here's our box we'll bring up the curtain hi Belle I see you ate a lot of your breakfast not all of it that's fine I gave you extra breakfast this morning because you ran out before dinner yesterday I want to make sure you stay as fat as you want yeah you said it Burr. Burr. She's got those eyes that always look sad, but she's not. She's purring right now, actually. I don't know how well you can hear it. She's just a sweetie, sweetie pie. So that's Belle, and these are Belle's three little girls.
little bit of food that mom left here. They're starting to exercise their little legs a lot more. That's good. Look at that. That's that's a heck of a walk right there, kiddo. Well, let's take a look at each of them up close while we get their weights, and then you guys can sort of keep track of those weights and let me know. Uh, as we've been doing, I'm, I'm really enjoying the way that works out. It gives us a chance to see each of the kittens and listen to them yell at us for picking them up. And that's fun. <laughs> They're too cute at this age. I should do another photo shoot soon. I wanted to get some more pictures of Brooke, too, for that blog post that's going to come as soon as we get our test results. Look at that face. A little beep. Beep's eyes aren't open all the way, and it is adorable. You'll get there soon, buddy. That's mom's tail that, that she is resting on. Now, don't, don't get started nursing yet, Foghorn. we got to see you and get your weight, so let's start with Foggy. Hey, little Fogalina. Uh-huh. Yes, well, you do have a big foghorn noise, don't you? You sound like a foghorn. <laughs> okay, let's get your weight. Oh, sit right in there. You're going to get too big for this thing soon. 12.2. We're going to have to switch you to the big kid scale. All right, Foggy, 12.2. All right, Foggerella. What? Foghead? No, not that either, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So noisy. I gotta give you a kiss, though. Okay. Now I gotta look at your fat tail. Look at that fat tail. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> She's like a like a fat bumblebee cartoon, you know, like a with a big stinger. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Okay, beep, you're next. I see you back there. Let's get you next. Oh, let's reach reach for beeps. Okay, I got you, beeper. You're a little calmer. Of course, we named you after a smaller sound than a giant foghorn, didn't we? The real question is, if DJ had named you Foghorn, would you have a bigger meow? Right there, Beep. 10.6 for Beep. Still 10.6. What's up, Beep? I know. She gets shaky when she tries to hold her head up sometimes because those little muscles aren't developed yet and her head's so heavy. Little baby heads are very heavy. But that's how they can develop the muscles. They got to keep working at it, walking around and trying to lift things up and pushing on mom and struggling with me. All part of growing up. I know. I'm doing my part to help. Okay, beeper. All right, now we got to do Klaxon. Klaxon. Klaxon's eyes are the most open, I think, actually. Look at that. You see in the world? Oh, Klaxon is using his back toes to try to change the settings on this stream, so sorry if anything gets mixed up. I said his, hers. It's a girl. All three are girls. All right, have a seat there. Clax. 
Eleven point three, two, three, three, two. We'll say 11.2. Here we go. Eleven point two, three, three, two. It's okay, Clax. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. It's okay. So much to complain about. Your mom's just like, whatever, kid. Okay. All right, we're giving you back. Here you go. Hang out with your sisters and your mom. <laughs> Look at that face on Belle. She's like, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> well, everybody, uh, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I do sincerely appreciate it. All of you and my mom. As usual, if you want to keep watching these kittens or the ones downstairs, uh, we have them on the regular Kitten Academy live stream all day long. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have some new pictures out on our website, which is uh, kitten.academy. Like uh, Jimmy just linked, we've also got a Patreon that gets you access to our Discord chat that I'm talking about all the time. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. But, uh, you know, I want to say thanks to all of you, uh, whether you're on the Patreon or not. I still greatly appreciate you uh, being here for me in the morning and for the kittens. Too. I'm sure some of you are here for the kittens, a couple. Um, and also, uh, I want to say just thanks to all of you for uh, being part of, you know, what makes Kitten Academy what it is. It's, uh, it's all about us getting these kittens and these cats adopted. And the more of you see the show and the more of you uh, tell your friends and, uh, you know, all those YouTube metrics like thumbs up and, and you know, whatever else they do, comments and stuff... Uh, it all adds up to uh, better visibility for these kittens, and that's what really counts. So thank you all so much for being part of that. I just, I really, really, really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much. Now, I'm going to be quiet for just a second so you can hear some purrs, and then we will uh, wrap it up. Thank you guys one more time.